goes with jumping jack flashes of gas 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 anyway yeah well next track uh, you know I've mentioned Apple Records before yeah. uh, I think A Jude was the, oh, it was the first song ever released on Apple well the next track was also on Apple Record I think it was the second ever release yeah. on Apple and this song not A Jude off number one I never knew that now you have shot me on that and it was also produced by Paul McCartney yeah uh, now it was by a Welsh lady called Mary Opkin and I think she was only 18 or 19 when she recorded this yeah, very good looking at the time she certainly was yeah. yeah and this song is an, basically it's a Russian melody um, but they changed the words obviously they've anglicised the words um, well the Russian song is about looking back on your life so again those were the days yeah this song was a massive worldwide hit um it was uh, number one for six weeks I believe in the UK and it got to number two in the United States as well kept off number one by A. Jude so it put Mary it propelled Mary into uh, the spotlight yeah international superstar and yeah in 1971 she married Tony Visconti who who was David Bowie's producer and uh, I've got to thank Stuart Lloyd for this because Stuart told me that uh, Mary actually sung on the low album and primarily on the track um sound and vision but this is a again it's a great song it's not rock and roll it's it's folk music yeah. uh, it's mary opkin and those were the days
two songs left and it gone quick tonight in the studio. It has, yeah. Uh, two good songs to finish two with. Belters. Both got to number one. First yeah. one was by a guy. If you're talking jazz music, he's probably up there with the, the greats. You know, he's up with Charlie Parker and uh, Satchmo or Louis Armstrong. Was born in New Orleans, I think it was in 1901. You know where he gets his name Satchmo from? What? It, it was a, it's, it's shown from Satchel Mouth because when Louis was a young kid, he used to do street tap dancing in the street, yeah. and he used to get coins thrown at him, and he used to put them in his mouth. And that's how he got away. They got so they got yeah. his name Satchel Satchel Satchmo. Brilliant trumpet player. Yeah. Absolutely one of the best of all time. Um, and in the 60s, he started to sing. He'd already had an award in America with a low dolly. Then he released this track we're going to play. And the following year, to me, the best Bond song ever recorded. Which from, was? Um, we Have All the Time in the World. Oh, it's a belting song, that. It, it, to me, it's a, you know, John Barry wrote that one. And as only Louis could have sung it yeah, like from a, on Her Majesty's Secret Service. It's a wonderful tune. It's my favourite Bond tune. Yeah. But this song, released, again, like I said, about 68, it was going wrong everywhere. And I've not mentioned that Bobby Kennedy died this year. Do you know what we haven't mentioned in 1968? Was that not the time when they was building Sulphur Precincts? Yeah, apparently, according to Frank Birchall, yeah. Right, well, I want to tell you now, Sulphur is a great city. We both yeah. agreed on that. Yeah. Why have we not got a town centre? Now, I know Swinton Civic Centre is a civic centre, but why has Salford not got a town centre? We're well, unique in that respect, Simon. Um, you travel away with Salford. You go to every town we visit. There's, all, it's, yeah, all there's got, always a centre there. There's got a centre. Yeah, Salford is. With the Yates is. Yeah. In. Salford's with unique. Nearby. Yeah, Salford's unique in that respect. Um, it's just spread out everywhere. If anyone's listening, the developers, I'm sure, Sam, you can do something. I'm with... looking at it now and I'm thinking, why can't we have a Salford uh, Christmas market? Why can't we have a Salford Christmas light switch on? There you do go. you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll start, start something I going. I think I'll start a campaign. I know enough councillors on my Facebook site. <laughs> yeah. And if the mayor's listening, take note of this show tonight. Williams is back, he's not drinking no more. <laughs> I'm going, to, I'm going to bring you the Christmas markets to Salford. <laughs> We're going to have a town centre now then. We're going to get going on your show here, in fact. So I like, started here then, don't we? Can I say yeah, we're going to have a Christmas appeal. We're talking about Louis Armstrong and we, we got to the Christmas markets in Salford. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you can have them in town, why can't we have them? Well, let's get back to Louis again. It's, yeah, let's get listen back to the lyrics, because I, like, I, I, I already mentioned Martin Luther King dying. Bobby Kennedy died uh, this year as well. He was assassinated... Um, I think it was in June, end of June. Uh, he was running for the uh, Democratic nomination to become president. And he was shot in Los Angeles by someone called Siran Siran. Um, he died the next day of his injuries. And it was a great tragedy because I think he could have been better president than JFK. Yeah. Because out of all the Kennedys, he was probably he the most gifted. Yeah. Well, he was, he was JFK's attorney general. And he was the guy who pushed the civil rights through. He yeah. really did passionate about it. He was a great and good man. Yeah. Um, but this track by Louis Armstrong, just listen to the lyrics, and I'm dedicating this one. Um, Glenn's asked me from work, his son is actually doing a project on Satchmo, Louis yeah. Armstrong, f- at school. So, Corrie, this is for Corrie Davis. This is What a Wonderful World by the immortal Louis Armstrong. I see trees of green. Red roses too I see them blue For me and you And I think to myself What a wonderful world I see skies of blue And clouds of white Right, blessed day, the dark sacred night, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky, are also on the faces. Of people going by, I 
Armstrong with What a Wonderful World. Going out there to him, Corey. Corey Davis, yeah. Yes. I hope you enjoyed that one, Corey. Now, last come to the last song, Simon. This is a, also been covered recently in a not too distant past by Pat O'Banson, wasn't it? But it's, it wasn't the same. No, well, this is the original. Now, this song was by a band called The Equals, and The Equals were a one of the first multiracial bands in the UK. Um, and they were led by a guy called Eddie Grant. Yes, I want to dance. And Eddie was from Guyana, but he was brought up in London. And he formed this band, and he was basically the guitarist, uh, sung a bit, and was the song, main songwriter. Now, obviously, after The Equals, Eddie became a big solo star. Yeah, um, I want the 80s, the early 80s, wasn't it? Yeah, Electric, was, yeah. Avenue. Electric Avenue and I Don't Want to mm-hmm. Dance. Then it Give Me Hope, Joanna. He wrote some great oh, tunes. Yeah, give Me Hope, Joanna. Uh, but this is the last song, and I'd like to dedicate this, because uh, a friend of mine, Bob Davis, was born when this reached number one. So this is for you, Bob. This is uh, Baby Come Back by The Equals. And are we haven't even mentioned about the show next week, Sag? Yeah, what year are we going to? What's your I reckon we year? should go to the, back to the 80s. Back to the 80s, yes. 86. 86 are we going to? Go 86, 86, we, 86, we can right? start playing some indie music for the first yeah, time. Yeah, That's we like, like a bit of indie music on the show, don't we? Because indie music, up. I think, started to come to the prominence, you know, the yeah. Smiths were at the oh. pumping in 86. Ask me, ask me, ask me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, final song is Baby Come Back, The Equals, and it's for you, Bob. Enjoy. Yes, and if you've got any tracks you want playing from 1986 next week, get in touch with us via the Sounds of Salford Facebook page. If it's your first time listening, throw a like on that page. I'll get in touch with Nadia down at the Nappy Factory, innit, mate? Cheers, Simon. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much, Nadia. I've enjoyed the show. Yes, again, you are a musical minefield of information. Thank <laughs> you.